Uh, good morning. Uh, is it morning? It's definitely not morning. Um, so, uh, here's my coffee. It's not coffee. It's matcha. I didn't make coffee today, though. I actually recorded that part. I don't know when. Um, sometime this month. I made my iced coffee, like a big old picture of it today. So, I'm excited. I decided it was too hot to do brewed hot coffee now. Okay, anyway. Um, so this month I kind of knew what I wanted to do already. So my sketches kind of were like, okay, I already had something in mind, like the shape of the canvases that I wanted to use are like these little wood pieces. And I wanted to use like oil pastels on them. I keep wanting to say oil paints and I, no, I've never used oil paints before. I've also never used oil pastels before this. So, but yeah, so the sketches kind of represented that. I have six of them and I want to do some kind of like little group thing of all of them. I only did one today. Um, I don't know if I want them all to like be cohesive or not. Uh, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Um, so I did some sketches of these, just a bunch of random things. Um, the room I want these in, I kind of have like a vision of like green and purple. They're all green, so like the edges will be different shades of green. I'm just gonna end up putting them up all together. So I end up going with this like little flower I found outside. It's, it's more blue. I'll show the picture later on, um, but I, I ended up like making it more purple. Um, but yeah, I worked with these. I uh, did some research just to make sure I could put them on acrylic because I knew like I probably needed to like make the surface a little smoother. And I, I, I don't know a lot about oil paints, but I was like, I'm pretty sure I've seen people like they'll put some kind of like acrylic down first before they work with oils so and from my research research these are basically you can basically treat them like oil paints where you could put them like lay them down and then use like a paintbrush with different um like thinning mediums that you can use with oil paints i know there's a bunch of different ones um but yeah you could do that i didn't do that i just kind of wanted to see what what's gonna happen just like using them as like little little sticks and they're really just they're kind of like melted crayons and they're like they're crumbly too so kind of like very much like melted crayons but yeah um so I knew this was not gonna be very detailed but I still and this is also like a small piece so like with the, the flat end of these plus they're messy and mushy and the teeny tiny little canvas I had like I knew there was definitely no way I was gonna have anything very detailed so i just kind of was you know looking at my reference photo and just doing you know it's like thinking back to like art school like just draw what you see it'll be fine and i do enjoy that but i'm always like oh this is gonna look awful and then a lot of times you're like you'll step back and you see it and it's like oh wow that's awesome uh, in this case this is so small i'm like i don't know yet also with oil paints where you know you're supposed to they don't dry right away so you have to like work in stages well these they weren't really saying you have to work necessarily in stages like they said they would layer pretty well but when i was looking up like hey do these dry how often how long does it take for these to dry there were conflicting answers of they'll dry in a couple days or they will absolutely never dry and years later you could just wipe it off the canvas so i'm like okay well we'll see so i went ahead and put this directly on the wall that it's gonna be on i don't know if it's gonna stand this exact spot but they're, it's just sitting here alone on a wall and it looks very funny it looks like there's something on the wall every time i like walk past the room just like this blob um, but yeah so i like it i don't love it we'll check back and see if i think it's amazing uh, i definitely think it's cute and it's fun but yeah i don't i don't quite have that awe factor that holy wow that's amazing i love it but when I do things that aren't super detailed, I kind of feel that way until I kind of like the process is kind of like further back in my mind. And you're just like, you're just seeing the art and not like all the details as much. So I like, that's when I know like how good I did. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think that's all. I don't, I'm sure the next video will not just be another one of these. Um... It'll be something different. Um, but I might have one of these included. I have no idea though yet, so I'm not gonna confirm that or not. So I'm gonna say bye. Yep, bye.